In this video, I'm gonna be talking all about the Joe Staff selection and the Hambo we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm gonna be talking all about their features, which styles would use them, why you choose between the different types of Joe that we have here available, and at the end, I'm gonna to put together a short montage of people training with Joe Staffs. Hi, my name is Doug Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you like this video, click the little icon, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the Joe Staffs and Hambo we have for sale at Enzo. Now I have actually made individual videos on each of these Joe Staffs. So as I talk about each of the Joe Staffs individually, there will be a little bar that pops up in the screen. So you can go to that video and get all the information specifically on that Joe Staff. Now, if you're not so bothered, don't worry about it because I'm going to give you all the information. But in terms of the individual Joe staff, I'm going to skim over them a little bit. So yeah, if you want really, really detailed videos, I have produced them as well. So check out the channel, all the little cards that pop up over my head and you can go to them and get way more information. Now I have kind of crowbarred in Hambo into these videos as well. Now Hambo kind of sit on their own a little bit. They don't really fit into any other category. So it just makes sense to crowbar them into this. And I will talk about the differences between the Joe and the Hambo in terms of techniques, usage and styles. But yeah, majority this video is about the Joe Staffs. Now what are Joe Staffs? So Joe Staffs really are a about a 50 inch length stick and mainly used in Japanese styles. So you do get some that are four foot exactly. I mean, you can see here that the, the, the foam Joe Staff we have and the graphite ones, but traditionally Joe Staff should be around 50 inches, just over four foot. Now, why are they like then? What's the point? Well, the story goes that historically some famous guy who was the best in the world at bow staff had a fight with the most famous swords guy in the world, in Japan of course. And they had a fight and the bow staff guy lost. Now the, he wasn't having any of it, he was, he was quite annoyed about this loss. He thought, I'm the best in the world, what is going on? He went away, had a big think about it, yeah, did a bit of soul searching and then one day decided that he was gonna cut two foot off his stick. Now I don't know if he did this on purpose, he might have just like cracked the thing against the wall and snapped it off and then decided that this was much better against fighting against swords. So it was all about fighting, defending himself against sword attacks. Now the Joe staff proved to be much, much more effective than the six foot bow staff. So that's what he used. So he challenged the guy again, they had another fight and depending on which historical records you read, it was a draw or the Joe staff guy won or the sword guy won again. So it's a bit hard to tell, but in terms of that length, that is what it is used for. So defending against swords and having that kind of slightly shorter range mobility in terms of dealing with that particular type of attack. Now, it is very, very specific in terms of nowadays what styles use a Joe Staff. It's not particularly common. So Aikido is probably the most commonly known style that uses Joe Staffs and they pretty much exclusively only use Bokken, like the wooden version of the swords, and Joe Staff, and they don't really use anything else. You might find little pockets of styles that, that, that change around, but it's really Aikido only using Bokken and Joe. So by far, they are the, the biggest buyers of Joe Staffs from us at Enzo. Now, other styles like Ninjutsu, they do use them as well, so you get quite a lot of Ninjutsu guys buying the Joe Staff. And you know, they have a much, much wider range of weapons. They tend to get the Bokken, Bow, Joe, Hambo, and Tantos all as one set, and that usually starts them off before they start branching off onto other weapons. So I guess they don't spend as much time developing their Joe Staff skills as much as the Aikido guys do, but really they are the two main stars that are buying Joe Staffs, and obviously there's other stars out there. Just Joe Jitsu, just on its own, is, is a style itself, but very uncommon in the UK. 
nearly always, if you wanted to learn Joe, Aikido and Ninjutsu are the two best places to try. Now, like I said before with dimensions, the traditional Joe staff are around 50 inches long, but you know, four foot, you do get stuff in four foot as well. It seems to be interchangeable. Now we will do our absolute best to keep all the information up to date on the website. So you know exactly what you're buying from us and each of the individual product pages on the website will have the individual sizes and dimensions of the Joe staff and weights and everything. I'm not gonna do them in this video because it will just be far too dry. So yeah, if you wanna know all that stuff, it is on the website, all the dimensions, all the weights. So we're gonna have a look at that. So having a look at the individual weapons. So by far, this is the most popular Joe staff, like short range staff that we sell at Enzo, the Red Oak staff. Now there's loads and loads of martial art weapons, like Japanese and Chinese and Korean, that are made from Red Oak. It's a relatively cheap wood, but it is very, very durable and very available, which is very good for these types of weapons. It also, you can make them very, very straight and these are kiln dried, so they do stay very, very straight. Now, if you prop the thing up against the wall and you lean on the thing for God knows how long, it is gonna bend. If you leave it in a basement that's all wet and damp, yeah, it's probably gonna warp a bit. But if you look after it, you keep it upright in a rack like this, or you keep it on the floor in a dry place, not, not on a damp floor, they will stay very, very straight. So yeah, red oak is a very, very durable weapon and very common, probably the most common material used for training weapons in martial arts. Now these Joe staffs are about an inch in diameter, which I really, really like. You know, you don't want them too thick. You want a nice, nice usable hand grip for, for the Joe staff. And like I said, just over, just over four feet, about 50 inches. Also, you can use these for sparring practice. The oak is pretty durable. Now don't go completely bonkers smashing like the hell out of it, but you can use these for spar sparring practice, like two man partner drills. They are gonna be able to take the punishment. Now, if you do break it, it is wood, it is a natural material so you know expect what you can get out of a natural material don't don't expect the world out of it but two-man partner drills taking it easy definitely you can do this with the red oak now the second one that i've got here is the white oak joe staff now white oak it's a very debatable subject. You get a lot of people online sort of debating the differences between red and white oak. You know, I had a guy the other day saying that white oak is 100% lighter than red oak. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about that one, but um, you're all very welcome to leave a comment about your, your opinions on that one. But white oak does seem to create a bit of discussion about it. People say that it's lighter. Some people say that it's heavier. People say that that you know it's it's a better part of the wood, the same tree. You know there is white oak and red oak and black oak as well in different woods, and whether the, the the these are actually used in the weapons is also very debatable. Some people say that chi flows better through white oak than it does through red oak. You know some people say it's much stronger. Some people say it's weaker. It really is like an area of discussion. So like I said, you're very welcome to drop comments in the box below and I'm very happy to, to have, have that discussion. In my opinion, I've sold these for the last 16 years. I don't find very much difference between the white oak and the red oak. They're very much, much of a muchness. In terms of weight, in terms of, of strength, they're very much similar, similar in terms of their uh, in terms of their capacity and their strength and stuff. Now, white oak is prettier in my opinion, and a lot of people like it because it is prettier. There's kind of a bit of a purity about it. It's really nice having that really white wood. You know, so much wood these days is just stained like crazy. You know, especially like even I, I'm I'm known for doing it. I'll stain everything in the shop like crazy. A nice dark wood. So having that nice white wood is is something that people really really like also another thing people like to do is get the set so if you've got a white oak bock and they'll probably end up getting a white oak white oak joe as well and maybe a white oak bow stuff or whatever and get get all the set set they don't want sort of higgledy piggledy colors so yeah definitely a good reason to get the white oak and like i say if you like the color it's only a few extra quid so, so why not treat yourself now the third joe staff in here is the graphite joe staff now these 
these are kind of a very different field from, from standard Joe staff. They don't tend to get used in the traditional way for sort of Aikido and Jiu Jitsu. These tend to be used by kids that are going into competition, or, you know, training at their class, but they're doing bow staff forms. So they're doing bow staff forms, but obviously they're a lot shorter being a kid, or even if it's an adult, but quite short, and you can't cut the, the graphite bow staff weapons. So we do those in a six foot and a five foot and a four foot. So I would say that really this is a four foot bow staff, graphite four foot bow staff. But obviously because of its length, it is a Joe staff. So the graphite Joe staff, I would say this is much more for kids doing forms in competition and they buy it because it's so lightweight. This is hollow almost in its entirety. There's a small piece of wood in the middle that the screw bit goes into because it is a two piece bow staff. So it's got a wooden core and the rest of it is hollow. So it's very, very lightweight. It's probably 50% lighter than, than the wooden Joe staff. So you can go really, really fast with this. You can have the thing just looking like a blur in the air. You can stop it on, stop it on a point and off you go again, spinning around and around. And that's why people really love these. But like I say, it's in the majority, it's kids getting these for competition. Now the fourth Joe Staff we have here is the Foam Joe Staff. Now this is a really, really good option for people who want to practice sparring. So especially the ninjutsu guys really want to have a go and kind of test the techniques that they've got and just have a go at a bit of sparring and whack each other and just see how those techniques work and, and give it a go and practicing sort of getting clonked a bit and, and getting used to swinging these around each other's heads. So this is like a foam outer with a plastic core down the middle and they do have a little bit of flex to them but you know if you get hit with them it's way more forgiving than one of the wooden ones so it's a really good way to kind of not get all those cuts and bruises and bumps and lumps that you would get with a wooden one and you can still practice sparring techniques now if you're going full pelt whacking the thing using it like a golf club, it is gonna hurt someone if you whack them in the face. So, you know, take it easy on your training partners. You know, people don't part with that stuff that long, but if you're both up for it and you both really wanna get those techniques down, this is definitely the best option for sparring. Now, another really good thing that we sell at Enzo is the cases. So these are the Joe Staff cases, and I definitely recommend one of these if you're gonna be traveling to and from a class. So you want to look after your stick. You don't want it bumping on the floor and dragging around, especially if you've got to carry a few of them. It's so easy to drop them everywhere. Now these Joe Staff cases, I think are the best on the market. Obviously I'm biased, don't take my word for it. Have a look on the website and see what you think of it. But these are definitely really, really good quality. One, they're made out of a really thick vinyl. They're really well stitched with the piping all the way around the end. And they've got this really nice cushiony soft stuff inside that just keep, really keeps your weapons really well looked after. Now, there's a fair space in these, so you can probably get three standard Joe Staffs in there, cram them in. But for the Aikido guys, you can get a Bokken without the Suba and a Joe Staff in there that's really good. For the Ninjutsu guys, yeah, a Bokken, Hambo, Joe Staff, and Shavatanto in as well. So yeah, you can cram loads in at that kind of four feet, 50 inches there. So moving on to the Hambo. Now Hambo, like I said earlier, kind of fit in a little kind of pocket on its own in martial arts weapons. So a Japanese weapon, three foot in length. They kind of merge to Joe's because there is a lot of Joe staff techniques that you will use with a Hambo. So a lot of kind of locking, throwing, you know, a lot of strikes, defense and whatever, but they also fit into that kind of one hand, a screamer stick fighting method. So you will do a lot of one hand striking and blocking and whatnot. So they're actually an amazingly versatile weapon and very, very underrated, I believe, in martial arts. Now, Hambo Jitsu is a thing. It does exist on its own and I find, I think you find it very hard to find it outside of Japan. 
but a really, really good, useful weapon and really, really interesting to train with. And you don't see many people doing it these days. But yeah, it kind of sits between the two foot Filipino sticks and the four foot Joes, and you can get techniques from both of these. So there's all kinds of stuff you can do with a hambo. Really, really good weapon to train with. But like I say, I kind of crowbar it in with the Joe staffs, and I've done the same on the website because it does kind of sit in a little niche on its own. Now we do these in red oak and we do them in white oak too. So all the same applies in terms of red oak being very durable, very, very common weapon because it is so cheap and it is so available and you know very reasonable price as well so these hambos again you can you know give them a good tonk and you can do a lot of sparring practice with them again it's very very hard to so be careful with your training partners you know and the white oak is exactly the same you know it creates all those discussions about whether it's worthwhile using or not or whether there's any difference between red and white but you know it is a very pretty wood hopefully in the in the camera you can see that it's got this very fine like lightly colored grain and it's very very pretty probably help if i took the plastic covering off it but um yeah if you want the white oak always worth getting a set but like i say it's a very very pretty wood to use so what i was promised at the beginning of the video here is a short montage of people training with joe staffs and hambo for watching i hope it was useful i hope you learned loads about the joe staffs and hambo we have for sale at enzo if you like this video click the little icon subscribe to this channel get all the latest videos and updates from enzo martial arts thanks very much and i'll see you soon cheers